welcome to Nalia and Davies channel. Recently I was asked how did I edit photographs of the, the photographs in the latest video, uh, the adventure to Wales, how I had it moving. So I thought I'd give you a little tutorial. It's how I do it, it's not necessarily how it has to be done, it's how I, I do it. This is Sony Vegas Pro 13 which I use and what I have here is two photographs. The first one here is what you can see on the screen up on the right and the second one if I move the timeline is that one. Now together, if I just put them together it doesn't really show much. All you'll see is this and then it will change to this. So it doesn't do a lot, but there are some buttons down here. There's a little square here which I use, which says Event Crop and Pan. If you click that, then a screen will appear like this. This shows the outer edge of what you can see. Now if I just leave it like that, you'll have these black borders either side. And I'm rendering under 1080p. so what I'm going to do is go in here and you can see widescreen TV aspect. So I do that and you can see automatically that this dotted line here has shrunk. That is now what I'm going to see, as you can see through there. Now in order to get it to move you have this timeline under here which is default 5 seconds on this. So you choose where you want it to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, go over this little box here. I'm going to click the left mouse button and hold it down. And then I'm going to move to the left. And as you can see, the whole box shrinks. I let go and that's where it is. Now, when you have this crosshair, which you can see with four arrows on it, you can again drag to the right or the left where you want it to start. I'm going to start it up in this corner up here. Now I'm not going to go off the edge of the picture because that means you'll have a black border again. So I'm going to start it here. Then I'm going to move this timeline which is underneath all the way to the other end. And now I'm going to put this box where I want it to finish. So I'm going to bring it all the way down here. I'm not going to use all the picture because I don't need to. I'm just going to do it there. So now, if I press play and you watch this screen up here, you'll see it doing this. Now it's jerky because it's real time rendering. But you can see nothing has changed with the second one. And now I'm going to go into the second one. I have the little square event and pan crop there click that and it will come up with that. I'm going to change the aspect to widescreen. You can see there's multiple different things there. This is where I'm going to start. I'm now going to make it slightly smaller. I'm going to move the timeline. And this time, instead of moving it, I'm just going to click on the widescreen again to put it back. So now you have this effect. You have that scrolling that way. And then it changes to that coming out. So that's okay, but you get a very big jump cut right in the middle, which is from here to here. It's a very big jump cut. It's not nice to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this here. I'm going to left click and move it slightly to the left. And you can see that that has gone to 0 0.05 there. That's how much it's going to transition between the two. I'm going to make that bigger to make it easier to see. So I'm going to do a whole second. So now I click the button again and you get this effect. you have 
all of it in one go. I hope that that has helped you guys and girls and if you need any more information please feel free to ask however there are many many tutorials are probably better than me on the YouTube as well so feel free to ask if I can help I will if I can't I will try to find out and point you in the right direction thanks for watching this quick clip like comment and subscribe please